Hello, friends. We're outside because we have contamination. Now, we rarely, if ever, experience contamination. And we get a lot of questions about contamination. And it can be confusing as to what is contamination because it's all fungi. It's all fungus. The contamination is the same thing that you're growing. It's just you don't want that type. You want the type that you're growing. So I brought it outside because... Once you identify any kind of contamination, you want to get it out wherever it is, whether it's in your home, closet, cabinet, tent, wherever, get it out. And this is another reason why we use tubs is it's enclosed. So nothing else will be contaminated. Now I'll also say we've only experienced contamination when it's cold outside. So it's winter for us. And it's been really cold. So even indoors, it's gotten a little bit cooler. And it doesn't create the best environment. Now, we didn't heat this, but we've been heating our home. And this bucket actually never fully colonized. And it really is not the strongest of the two that we are currently growing. And the other bucket looks perfect. So this one never really finished colonizing. And you can see so much moisture on the top. And that's because we've been heating. These have been out on a table and we've been heating the home. So you can see the contamination right in the center. And this is a moisture issue. This is all about temperature and moisture. So we highly recommend that you grow in seasons that aren't so extreme hot or extreme cold. Again, we've only experienced contamination when it's really cold outside. So you can see some pens here. You can see mycelium and you can see how it never fully colonized on top. So for one, it never fully colonized. That's not normal. And that's because of the colder temperatures. And then because the environment was being heated it create all this moisture to come up to the top. Even on the sides here, you can see.